A chilling scene on a downtown LA street in broad daylight. Follow home thieves, chase a frightened woman, even running her down with their car, all to steal her Rolex watch. Thankfully, she survived her terrifying ordeal. The LAPD says more than a dozen LA street gangs are carrying out these aggressive robberies. They are targeting the wealthy who wear expensive jewelry or drive high end cars. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live from Beverly Hills with more. Sandra. Chair, it is open season on wealthy people. That's what the president of the LA Police Commission told me tonight. He says now they have proof that these gang members are following people for out of upscale shops and restaurants. A woman running from robbers who want her Rolex watch as she tries to get away, they hit her with their car. She's stunned, but not seriously hurt. Broad daylight. Downtown Los Angeles. I don't know how it could be more brazen and open than this. Uh, you know, something has got to be done. It happened Monday, one of five LA follow home robberies in just 48 hours. Victims being identified and followed uh, from nightclubs or high end restaurants. Uh, these were individuals that. Uh, we're wearing nice jewelry. A new LAPD study reveals at least 17 street gangs are sending out crews looking for wealthy targets in places like Hollywood and Beverly Hills. Easy targets and money. Uh, people are used to being lax here because we didn't have an issue. And now we do, but we are much more cautious than we ever were. LA Police Commission President William Briggs says the gangs are getting more aggressive and often include teams using several cars. Los Angeles is unique. This does not appear to be happening anywhere else in the nation. This is completely outrageous and it's putting our citizens at risk. Last year, there were 165 follow home or follow off robberies and 56 already this year. Last November, the LAPD formed a special task force to deal with the surge. Using security camera video and other evidence, the task force has made numerous arrests, but from driveways to apartment lobbies, the crimes continue. Does it bother you that you have to take precautions? It does, because, I mean, I'm paying extra money to live in a safer neighborhood in L.A., but then again, I still don't feel 100% safe. I think a lot of people agree with her. The LAPD now working with the FBI and offering up to $10,000 rewards for information that leads to the ID and arrest of these suspects.